Hey everyone, I hope this day finds you well. You know, it saddens me to see how many of my brothers and sisters are getting sucked into this black supremacist movement, this new black supremacist movement that ironically is or has been instigated, funded, protected, and allowed to proliferate by elites who don't actually care about race. They're just opportunistic folks who will weaponize anything in order to achieve two things, money and power. And they, they keep you emotional and they suck in the ignorant and they suck in the misinformed and the uneducated, or they suck in people who are opportunistic themselves, who are looking to, to gain something personally by you know, disseminating all of this poison, all of this toxic poison out into our into our, our communities. And the end goal is simply to destroy America. So I want you to understand that when you have things like this, the eight white identities, and there's a paragraph underneath this, this pic that says this, there is a regime of whiteness and there are action oriented white identities People who identify with whiteness are one of these. It's about time we build an eth ethnography of whiteness since white people have been the ones writing about and governing others. And what this is intended to do is basically not only villainize white people, which is idiotic because how can there be a white culture when there's a multitude of, of different of different cultures that they're lumping into white. This also is supposed to label anybody who is an ally to who they claim are white. So me, I can be on this scale, even though I'm melanin rich. So it goes from white supremacist to white voyeurism, to white privilege, to white benefit, to white confessional, to white critical, to white traitor, to white abolitionist. And so, they of course want you to be on, they want you to be white, but be a white abolitionist. So they want you to hate yourself and where you come from because you're inherently evil. The focus on, on what they call white, let me stop doing quotes for white. I want you to know I'm using white simply to communicate. There is no such thing as a white culture. There's Irish and there's Ukrainian and Russian and there is uh, Italian, you know, there's a lot of rich, deep cultures. You can be from Korea, Croatia, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? You can be from all of these different places, but they call you white. So I will use white moving forward, but understand that I, I, don't, I don't believe and or use it the way that they use it. Just like I'm not actually black, that's ridiculous. I don't, I'm not even African-American. I'm an American predominantly of African descent. So I don't like being called black or African-American, but within conversation, I understand that you have to communicate with words that, that people are gonna, are gonna understand. And then through the course of the conversation, I can guide them to you know, how I feel about it and how I see it. But, so I just wanna preface that. So it seems like there's this huge emphasis on white. White's the only thing that's valid, only thing that holds any value, obviously, because everything's always about white. Even when you look at entertainment, even down to, to comic books and movies, they race swap from white to another race, as if white is the only valid culture, the only valid thing to be, which is ironic to me, because you know you say, well, black power, but I want Captain America to be black. I want Superman to be black. Why don't you just have your own original black characters if it's all black power? Why do you need the validation from white? Very, very interesting, isn't it? So we go from that to this. <laughs> and this was actually put out by the Smithsonian. And this was aspects and assumptions of whiteness. And it was in like the African section. 
And when you read through these things, right, these are supposed to be aspects of white culture. And we just talked about white. It's supposed to be aspects of white culture. Rugged individualism. The individual is the primary unit. Self-reliance, independence, and autonomy, highly valued. Rewarded. Individuals assumed to be in control of their environment. You get what you deserve. That's just only white people, right? Emphasis on the scientific method. This is just, these are aspects of white culture. Nobody else. Emphasis on the scientific method. Objective, rational, linear thinking, cause and effect relationships, quantitative emphasis. This is, this is like a white supremacist wet dream that there's a, black, there's a black supremacist movement that basically just loves white people so much. White people are the only people that have done anything in America, they've set up America just for them. And it's really ironic because, you know, I hear, I hear this being, you know, espoused by black millionaires and billionaires. <laughs> but so, so if it was set up just for white people, they were able to overcome it. But apparently they don't believe that any, any other black person can do that. They need, they need to wait for a white person to come save them because they apparently everything is just all about white. And if you don't believe me, this whole segment is really about a trailer. And this trailer is on a documentary. And the documentary is, is called Everything's Gonna Be All White. <laughs> I mean, you would, you would think that, that the Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan funded this documentary. Everything's gonna be all white. I kid you not. Check this out. most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim. <laughs> What's also annoying is when they, you know, when they kill us. So, first of all, I'm sorry, I'm going to be stopping and, and starting this thing all the way through. She likes when they pretend to be victims. <laughs> really? I, I watched, I watched Jordan Blake sitting up in the hospital you know, now he's because of his own actions that he brought upon himself. This this horrible, horrible, horrible person who who assaulted a woman, who attempted to take her car with their children in the back, who fought police, who had a weapon, who was told to stop, he didn't. Police fired on him, completely justified. He's in the hospital pretending to be the victim. Kamala Harris has given him a call. They got him propped up. I don't know if you saw when they, they were talking to him. They got him propped up like, oh, well, like, no. And then, then she says also when, when, when white people kill us, really, what are the numbers? What are the numbers? Because you know what, you know what I do know? Is that I do know that statistically, somebody who looks like me is going to kill me. So what is, what is she talking about? How come she doesn't like when black people kill other black people since they do it far more often? How come she doesn't like when black people pretend to be victims and claim to be victims when they do it far more often? What is fragile about whiteness when everything has been constructed around it? Every part of who I am has been distorted or criminalized. It's really just a bunch of white lies. <laughs> you have to understand this whole thing is about white people being the enemy of just goodness itself. It's, it's fascinating to me that this was even made. Storm in the Capitol! You're not patriots. Yeah, and then they're showing, of course, one six. Understand that, as I've said before, and I've, and I've broken this down in many segments, not only was this not an insurrection, it barely registers as a riot, especially when we had a beautiful comparison with the summer 2020 actual riots. And that was all on the foundation of black supremacy. Black supremacy is what's destroying our country, yet they're trying to make it seem like it's people for Trump, it's white supremacy, it's the police coming after, after black people, you're ridiculous. One of the definitions of American whiteness is... It See how they show people with Confederate flags and then they show Trump hugging an American flag? This is, this is what propaganda looks like. 
All you have to do is just put images close together and, and people will, will connect those in their mind. They show people with Confederate flags and you're supposed to assume that, that, that they're just white supremacists because before that, they show people on a stage holding things that said, you know, like white power. Do you see how they do that? You don't, somebody who has a, a flies Confederate flag doesn't, isn't necessarily a white supremacist. And definitely, if somebody's hugging the American flag, they're definitely, you can't just say that they're white supremacists. Nervous. White people, we are not your problem. You are. Should white people today feel any responsibility for slavery? Of course you're gonna go to slavery, but they don't give you any details around slavery. They want you ignorant. Actually dive into American slavery. Dive into it. Like I have, actually learn about it. And then, then you, won't, you won't continue to succumb to this propagandist BS. You won't continue to do it. And then of course they wanna blame all white people as if, as if everybody today who's white in this country, as if their ancestors actually owned slaves. You realize that even down in the South, most white people didn't earn slaves, didn't own slaves, only the rich and the elite. That's it. Very, very small percentage. Very, very small. <laughs> Hell yeah. White Jesus or black Jesus? Jesus. And then of course, they got a hit of religion. <laughs> they're, they're ba this, this is basically a culmination of, of, of all of these individual propagandist weapons put into one, one documentary. And this is designed to, to keep black people emotionally wound up, to keep them ignorant, and to keep them weaponized against any other ethnic group. Because understand, this whole thing is just completely and utterly and blatantly racist. And they just want them angry. Because understand that, that when, you're, when you're whipped up into this racist frenzy, it's gonna be much easier to also hate other races which is why it is the black community that victimizes the Asian community more than any other ethnic group. It's the black community that I believe is the most racist community in America today, the most racist. And it's because of stuff like this and they rely on it. They, they need to keep this going. This was not white. Think of geography. Ain't no way Jesus walked around with blonde hair and blue eyes. White culture fears the end of the world. For us as native people, the end of the world already happened. Yep, now white people are, are, they're also, you know, the ones who victimize the Native Americans. You know what? You weren't the first to get conquered. In human history, that's been the MO. Everybody conquers everybody else. Within, within the Native American community, you guys conquered other, other Native Americans and enslaved them. Same thing happened in Africa, China, it happens everywhere. Rome, it happens everywhere, everywhere, okay? You lost your country, you lost, you were conquered, get over it. What's even, what's even more, more actually like a breakaway from, from what normally happens through history is that America actually still invited you guys in to be a part of America and gave you citizenship. That's something that didn't happen when others got conquered. It didn't happen when you conquered other, other communities, other Native American communities. No, it didn't. This is, and so they try to lay all of this at the feet of white people, as if this isn't just the tale of, of just human history and human interaction. But if you don't know that, you're gonna believe all this stuff. You're gonna believe it. And then just one, one, one quick thing, on the whole Jesus is white, black, white. okay, cool, whatever. Are you Christian? Are you gonna follow, are you gonna follow Christian values? Because if so, you wouldn't be doing all of this stuff. And who's to say that you can't have Jesus black in your, in your church? This is a non-starter. It literally doesn't matter. Shouldn't the teachings matter? Shouldn't the value structure matter? More than, oh, Jesus wasn't white and wasn't this. Okay, well, you build your own church because it's American, you can do that. And then you have Jesus be whatever you want Jesus to look like. But at the end of the day, you follow, you follow the teachings. And in following the teachings, you wouldn't be doing all this racist, black supremacist crap and spreading this hate. Been like multiple times. Symbols and monuments, these are mementos of racism. Bring that statue down. Yeah, let's topple statues. This is just an excuse to, to try to erase history.
You don't erase history, you teach it. You teach it, and this is a part of our history. You don't erase the ugly parts, and you don't erase the good parts. You leave it all there, and you teach it, and then you let, you let these minds learn from the ugly and from the good. What about TCBY yogurt or something? Everybody can get behind. <laughs> the truth has to be told about history. I like this from the people of color point of view. They didn't include me at all. You see, they won't talk to me because I, I, will, I will bring to light their ignorance. I will talk about real facts and real history and, and really have a conversation. They don't want to do that at all, right? They don't like folks like me. We have to make sure that these stories are told from our perspective. There's always hope, you know what I'm saying? We don't give up. It's about obliterating systemic and institutionalized racism. This is a wild place, y'all. It's a wild place. I know Harriet and Frederick be up there just like, <laughs> what is they gonna do? I love how at the end she brings up Frederick Douglass and Harriet, Harriet Tubman. When she says Harriet, I believe she's talking about Harriet Tubman. Go look, go look at, at Frederick Douglass. <laughs> Frederick Douglass wouldn't have wanted any of this crap. And then how do you know about Harriet Tubman? Right? It's, it's, they will say and do whatever to keep this black supremacist movement going and to escalate it. Well, as long as it's useful. As soon as it ceases to be useful, best believe they will, they will just crush it and destroy it because that's what these elites do. They don't care. We're just pieces on a chessboard. And they have the resources to to make this stuff move forward. And so right now, we, we're seeing segregation come back. We're seeing they're trying to pull racism back because racism was basically non-existent in our country. So like the supply and the demand didn't match. So they have to, you know, increase the supply because it didn't meet the demand. And so they have to manufacture it. And that's what this is designed to do. And it's, it's, not, it's not by coincidence that it's going to be released during this election year. Nothing is by accident. And I will leave you with this. First of all, the title, Everything's Gonna Be All White, lets you know where the focus is. They're so focused on, on white that they don't take care of what's really harming the black community. That's how I know this documentary was not made to help anything. Because where's the documentary on black abortions? Black abortions are, they far, they far exceed any other ethnic group yearly. More black babies are aborted than any other ethnic group. Where's the, where's the documentary on that? That's a lot of black lives. What about black on black crime in their inner cities? That takes far more lives than any unarmed police shooting ever, like exponentially more. Where's the documentary on that? Where's the documentary on the breakdown of the nuclear family within the black community? Where's the documentary on that? Where's that at? Right? Where's, where's the documentary on, on the absence of black fathers? Where's, where, 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 where is it? Where, 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 how about the documentary on proper nutrition and health since like 50% of black women are obese? Right, the number one killer in the black community is heart disease. And then you look at type two diabetes. So they got you talking about all of this white supremacy stuff, like they're the biggest threat to the black community. And I've just given you what the biggest threat to the black community is, where are those documentaries at? Oh, right, you don't actually care about black lives. This is all theater, this is all a show. This is all propaganda. <laughs>